Hi, my name's Dylan, and about five years ago, I wrote a tool called TruffleHog that identifies API keys and passwords that people accidentally commit to Git repositories. I was so humbled to watch the tool blow up in popularity over the last couple of years. It's been installed millions of times and has been used by tens of thousands of security practitioners all over the world to find countless keys scattered all over the internet. API keys that have leaked out have led to some of the largest breaches over the last couple of years, from Uber's breach back in 2016, to DJI snafu in 2017, to the Twitter celebrity account takeover in 2020, the list goes on and on. Truffle has always been a fun side hobby for me that I used to work on on nights and weekends, but in 2021, I decided to quit my full-time job as an application security professional at Netflix to jump in full-time and co-found an open source security company to address this problem. In the last year, we've raised millions of dollars, mostly from Andreessen Horowitz, with the goal of spending that money to build open source security tooling, starting with the next generation of Truffle Hog. Quietly over the past year, we've been building out the new version of Travel Hog, which as of today, I am proud to announce is free and open source available on our GitHub. It is really good at finding API keys and passwords. It's way faster than previous versions, and most critically, for every single API key or password that it supports, it has a dynamic check built into it to see whether or not that key actually works or not. It supports more than 10 times the number of credentials that the past version of Trufflehawk did. And it no longer just scans Git, it can now scan file systems, S3 buckets, and a few other things. It also natively supports our Driftwood technology that can instantly tell you whether or not an encryption key can be used to encrypt something sensitive. We did a previous video on how that works. We downloaded every single TLS certificate in Certificate Transparency. We extracted all of the public keys from those certificates and we indexed them in a database. What this then enables us to do is if we ever find a private key, we can instantly look it up and see whether or not that key can be used to encrypt or decrypt something sensitive with TLS. This is by far the most powerful secrets detection engine on the planet, and we just open sourced it and gave it away for free. Okay, let's dig in and see how all that stuff actually works. First, let's talk about the performance. How did we make it so much faster than the original Truffle Hog? So Truffle Hog has always dug through all the old commit history of your repository. So it's not just checking the current version of your source code, it's also going through the past to see if any of the older versions of your source code might have keys in them. This is really important functionality because we found often half the source code is actually buried in an older version. In other words, half the secrets actually aren't in your current version of the source code, they're in an older version. The way the original open source Truffle Hog did that is for every commit in your git commit tree, it would run a diff against that version and the previous version to see whether or not any of the new code might have introduced secrets. The way that worked in practice is it would actually invoke the git binary thousands of times for all the thousands of commits that you might have in your git repository. And then for every single one of those diffs, it would run a whole bunch of regular expressions against those diffs. And if any of those matched, then it would have some level of confidence as to whether or not a secret was found. But as it turns out, invoking the Git binary thousands of times isn't the most efficient way to scan all your history. In fact, the only reason I did that at the time is because I didn't really fully understand how Git works. Yeah, so spoiler alert, sometimes software engineers build on top of technologies they don't fully understand. In the new version of Truffle Hog, we invoke the Git binary one time and stream all the patches at once. Then over on the detection side, rather than just running a bunch of regular expressions on every patch, we actually pre-flight all of our secrets with a string comparison. String comparisons are a lot more performant than regular expression patterns, so this pre-flight really speeds up the scan. Let me show you an example of how it works. Let's pull up the source code for an Amazon Cloud Key Detector. So the first thing we do is check the string matches. Amazon keys are always prefixed with four characters, like AKIA or ASIA, depending on the type of key it is. Once that string comparison preflight matches, that's when we'll actually do our pattern check. 
Amazon keys always have the same character sets and they're always a fixed length. So after the string comparison matched up, when we move on to our pattern check, we're basically looking for things that have that character set and have the fixed length that start with the string match from the previous step. Okay, now the last thing we do, and this is probably the most exciting piece of the new engine, is once we find something that matches the pattern and matches the string comparison, we actually are able to verify whether or not that credential works. So for Amazon Keys, we use an API called GetCallerIdentity, which is an API endpoint that every Amazon Key can make. And if we don't have a valid live Amazon Key, we can't successfully complete this API call. This gives us confidence that we not only found an Amazon key, but it's still a valid key. And for every single key type we support, we have one of these checks so that we can be very confident in our findings. To understand why this is such a game changer, think back to what I said a minute ago, that we're going through all of the old versions of the history. Your code repository could be years old, and in many cases, those keys could have been rotated out years ago. In fact, for Amazon keys, we found the ratio is something like 1 in 20 for keys that are still active to keys that aren't active anymore. Previously, a person would have had to manually check every single one of those 20 keys before they found the key that's still active. But now we do it automatically and we instantly tell you which key is still valid. A tool that claims to have found 20 results, only one of which you might actually care about, is a tool that very quickly leads to alert fatigue and leads to people turning the tool off and not wanting to use it anymore. The original Truffle Hog was a great research tool, but when it came to actual prevention, when it came to actually scanning developers' real code and presenting the findings to them, it fell short, specifically for that reason. Okay, let's pop up a couple directories and take the bigger picture view here. We now have over 700 different credential types and every single one of them has this verification step we just mentioned before. To understand the scale, we couldn't find another secrets detection engine on the planet that detected this many API keys, never mind it having this verification check and never mind it being open source. This is huge. You're going to be able to use this engine to find keys that have never been found before. And the reason why I can say that with such confidence is because we've been using it to find keys that have never been found before. Like, a ton of them. Here's a few examples of keys that we've submitted to bug bounties over the last few months. Okay, let's take a look at the output of the tool. We can see all the findings are streamed to us like with the original tool, except if we find a key that passes that verification step, it lights up green because we know this key is valid and it works. We now have a flag that can be optionally configured to only show the verified results. This basically gives you zero false positives because all of the keys have been tested and are verified to still work. To see the exact instructions for how to run Truffle Hog, check out the readme. There you'll also find instructions for how to write new detectors and improve the ones we have. That's one of the reasons I love open source so much, because we're all working on this problem together. I am so excited to be able to give this tool to the security community today. Thank you to everyone who helped make this possible, and I'll see some of you over on GitHub.